Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So that footage you saw at the start is from my drone, which that is the second time only since yesterday that I have used footage from a drone that got given to me by another YouTuber a while ago. And we have a very noisy helicopter somewhere over there. And if you like that drone footage and you'd like me to actually use more drone footage in the future, let me know down below. And one thing I want to mention before I get into the topic of this video is, what videos would you like to see from me in the future? Let me know down below because the videos are not made for me, they're made for you. So this is why I'm asking you so I can get more of an idea of the video content that you would like me to make so I could put on this channel. So now on to the topic of the video. How have I managed to live in Thailand for just over four years, which the four year mark hit just at the end of last month. And for anyone that doesn't know, I'm originally from United Kingdom, also known as Great Britain or England. And I'll give you a quick backstory. I was aware of Thailand for a few different other vegans, because yes, I eat a vegan diet and I was really into a raw vegan diet which is fruit based and I heard that the fruit diet was really really good never knew that I'd ever come out here, had a desire once went to a park near my house went into a meditative state almost said that incorrectly my tongue got stuck and I just went into this state where it felt that all I had on me was all I owned and I felt just completely free from all of the material items that I pretty much owned which I had quite a lot at the time that this experience happened in my house and then I connected to my heart just automatically it happened it told me to sell everything moved to Thailand so I did that in six months and moved out here and what I want to make you aware of is I've never traveled to anywhere on my own before but this experience just made me have complete faith and it just felt completely right I had no fears worries or concerns I just saved up as much money as I possibly could every single month and reduced my expenses every single day a month so I could save as much money as I possibly could to go out there I had an online business which discontinued about three months after me coming to Thailand so that was helping me have also an additional source of income on top of the savings that I had so I could actually be here in Thailand. And I didn't have any plans on going back so I sold almost everything that I had except for what was in that rucksack over there. This is my little red rucksack. And my bicycle because I was really into road cycling at the time. It was my mode of transportation. And yeah, so how have I managed to stay in Thailand since then? Well, there's just two things. First off is as long as you've got enough money then you can get visas back to back because you need a visa as in most countries to stay in this country and there's so many different visas you can get if you're from specific countries and i've had this sometimes you can get a visa on arrival which is actually known for me personally a visa exempt there's certain countries that when you arrive without a visa you get a visa exempt visa which gives you 30 days which you can then extend in the country after 30 days for an additional 30 days at a Thailand embassy. But what I did before I came here was get a triple entry visa, which each entry gives you two months, and at the end of every two months, it gives you an additional month when you go and extend it to the Thailand embassy again. So that gave me nine months. So I had that when I came to Thailand, and since then, there's been times I've got the visa exempt visa and then other times single entry tourist visas which you can go to other specific countries such as Malaysia which is my country of choice and go to the Thailand embassy and give them all the right paperwork and get the single entry tourist visa which gives you two months and an additional one month so they're the type of visas that I've been getting pretty much back to back at one point I was in a court case because my girlfriend yeah she just passed away in some tragic accident if you don't know about that you could do your research up online if you want to um, a lot of people are aware of that that follow me on this channel i had talked about my other youtube channel that i used to have and yeah they gave me like i think around seven months no nine months worth of visas so that was one thing so yeah visas are key you also can get five year and ten year visas as well the longer the visa is the more money it's going to cost us five and ten year ones are done by thailand elite which is basically run by the government. It costs you a lot of money, 500,000 to a million baht. You can search up the conversions online to USD or whatever your currency is in case you're interested in that. Um, and then the second one is, at one point, like I said, for about three months I was in Thailand, I had a source of income on online. So you wanna make sure if you're gonna come here that you do have enough money to stay here long-term, cover all your expenses and find out a way to earn money online 
that's absolutely fine to do but you can't work anywhere in Thailand unless you get a work permit that the company that you're working for helps you get basically so no working illegally so yeah online working is fine so after I stopped earning an income online I was doing it through selling certain specific things on Amazon which someone was running it for me back in England but that fell through and I had to stop that due to some reasons and then I just lived off of the money I had saved and then at one point I almost ran out of money and at the time I was working on my other YouTube channel that used to exist which is called Sun Fruit Dam and I also had a website so I was doing coaching started working my ass off to get coaching clients and then earning money through YouTube and affiliation deals from recommending certain products so that's how I pretty much earn a living online the main one is for YouTube and then the other streams of income that come off of YouTube so there are two reasons why I've managed to stay out here I've had money saved up so I can stay here and then in, in, well a lot of the time the majority of the time it still is this current point earning money online so I can actually stay out here I actually need to keep an eye on my bag not that I'm worried about that in Thailand because it's not like America or England someone would just walk off with your stuff within a second if you don't pay for attention so yeah if you're someone that wants to come out of Thailand and if you're just going to stay here for a period of time and then leave just make sure you have enough money saved up before you come here and you have enough money to get a flight out of here and then to cover all your expenses that you need to when you get back and maybe you've got a job to get back to and yeah if you want to stay here like long term make sure you've got enough money for visas try and find a way to make money online there's so many different ways you can make money online you can do it through youtube instagram even people do it through snapchat you can do affiliate marketing you can teach english online i know so many people that teach english online and stay out here permanently and I've got many friends set up with that before for certain people that I know that can help them with that. So if you want to find a way to stay out here, like me, I made the choice that I want to stay out here. So at times when I had to in the past, I made the decision, right, I'm just going to create an online income through many different things, through the, the things that I've just mentioned too. So if I can find a way, you can find a way too. If you want it so badly that you want to stay out here, you are going to find a way. It's just not an option for me. And for me, if I run out of money, I'm screwed. No one is going to help me at all. So I can only rely on myself to earn enough income to stay out here. And I've been an entrepreneur for around nine years. I've run so many different businesses. I'm just very driven and very motivated. So yeah, I always have the ability to make an income from something that I want to do. Before, many times I used to just do things for money. Now I just do things that bring me an income but also I love it at the same time YouTube is what I live for I absolutely love it I think about it so much I even think about it so much last night that I found it harder to fall asleep than normal so yeah that's how you could live out here so you have a choice do you want to stay in your country or do you want to be here and what I say is Thailand compared to pretty much anywhere in Europe and America and England and so forth the amount you need to spend on places to rent on gas on food on groceries even medical bills if you have them and other certain things everything is just a fraction of the cost compared to those countries so this is why so many people come out here long term or like myself just stay out here permanently and yeah if I can make it happen you can make it happen too and the brilliant thing about here is pretty much hot all year round. The food is so nice. The Thai people follow the Buddhist way, so they're so calm and relaxed due to Westerners. I don't see anyone get road rage here. I pretty much have never seen a Thai person get angry. I'm not saying it does exist, but it's very, very uncommon, unlike in places such as America, which is a great example. So if you're someone that wants to have a very high quality life, for as least money as you possibly can this is going to make it really viable for you to do that because a lot of people especially in america especially if you're in places like los angeles the cost just to rent somewhere a month is extortionate it's through the roof and most people just find it hard to make enough money to make ends meet and they normally get in debt but out here in thailand one person could easily live comfortably for a thousand dollars or less a month you could 
also live for thousands and thousands of dollars a month depending on how you want to live but if you want a nice basic place to live that has air conditioning that's clean and everything and you want to eat pretty decent high quality food yeah you can live it for super cheap i know some people do it for around 600 dollars a month different parts of thailand will cost you well more money to live in than other places one of the cheapest places to live in thailand is chiang mai thailand that's where a lot of digital nomads tend to move to that are really new digital nomads and entrepreneurs that don't earn a lot of money and they're working on their businesses so they can earn way more money and the internet is really really good here for anyone that, that is concerned about that Chiang Mai is actually one of the number one digital nomad locations in the world because it's so cheap and the internet is so good and there's so many other digital nomads there as well which is just really, really amazing. Oh, and what I say is before I moved to Thailand, I was looking online at how you can stay here for longer periods of time, and it seems like it's way harder or pretty much impossible to live out of here long-term, unless you get like a retirement visa or a work visa through working for a company and getting a work permit or other various ways. But what I discovered many years ago, once I started speaking to people that have been here long-term, such as I have, lived here now long term if you came here and spoke to me i'll tell you it's way way easier than what it seems online so what i'd say is if you feel that you'd like to come to thailand and be here long term save up as much money as you can just going over some of the things i mentioned briefly earlier on trying to find a way that you can make an income online and just make sure you've got enough money to get visas and that you speak to people that have been here for quite some time and see how they've managed to stay here long term as well i'm telling you Thailand is amazing. So many people just save up so much money to come here for say like two weeks. That's what a lot of people do, coming on these like tropical holidays. But they spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a month going to like a really high-end resort, spending ridiculous money on pff, food, getting ripped off left, right and center. And it's like, you could stay out for months and months and months if you lived as minimally as you possibly can. And it's like, for me, as long as I've got enough money to cover all of my monthly expenses like my phone and the gas on my scooter and my food and the rent from the apartment I have and everything else then pff, that's pretty much all I need I don't need to be going and spending loads of money on clothes that I don't need and other things where you're just buying things that you don't actually need so as long as you're only buying what you need and living a minimal minimalist lifestyle even I almost said that incorrectly then then pff, the more minimally you live the cheaper that you could live out here for so it doesn't matter what country you're from what you're doing if you want to make it work you can make it work you just need to find a way and that's it i just found a way i didn't know that i was necessarily going to be out here for this long all i knew was i didn't want to go back to england and i just had to make a way for me to stay here so it depends how badly you want to be here and just to be honest it's my favorite place that i've ever been in the world so why would i not do everything in my power to be here you just need to believe in yourself and work hard hard freaking work on something that you know that could bring in money every single month online and then you could stay in amazing tropical climate such as thailand where i know so many amazing like-minded people as well and you get to have loads of amazing beaches and other nature places such as waterfalls to go to and I'm telling you, my life is just absolutely amazing to be here. It's a tropical paradise in Thailand. And it's just win, win all around. It's like, why would I be in England? England costs way more. The weather's not as good. The food, yeah, you can get good food. But fruit, what I'm really into, the fruit's nowhere near as good as here. And I just find that it's a way more calmer, less stressful lifestyle here. Especially because like i said the thai people follow the buddhist way they're way way calmer so for me it just makes sense for me to be here would i go back to england at any point yeah i would do but i haven't done in the last four years since i've been here the only reason i go back is to see my family members that follow a vegan lifestyle as well they're into intermittent fasting a lot of them into detoxification and many other things as well so get on with them really well and actually my dad and stepmom and youngest brother is about 16 months old they just told me last month that they're going to come out for Christmas so I get to see my brother that I've never seen before and get to see my dad and stepmom that I haven't seen for over four years which is really cool so yeah I'm going to end it there it's starting to rain so it's perfect time to end and yeah if you like the video 
like it down below got any questions for me leave them down below and i get back as soon as possible share this with others that you think might want to hear about how i managed to live in thailand for four plus years now and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and make sure if because if you don't do this you won't be notified of when new videos are uploaded and i think a lot of people aren't doing this when they subscribe is you click that bell notification button next subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when those new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day and the type of videos you can expect to get from me are videos talking about me and my life and my lifestyle also videos on weight loss intermittent fasting calisthenics what I eat and what i do in a day videos and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and also teach the information to go in direction to create more of the life that you desire and the fitness levels and the energy levels and the physique you desire as well like i've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time to get those results and many other amazing different benefits as well so as always stay fit stay energetic and go get those gains peace